Okay, today's video we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna show you how you can wrap your own commercial fridge just like right here. So we get a lot of requests is, is um, actually can you wrap on the, on the refrigerators, but yes. So if you wanna update the look of your, your refrigerator, commercial refrigerator, from your side to the top or anything in the front of the glass door or anything like that, you can. So what we need is actually uh, the depth of it and also the height of the sides and anything that you want wrapped in the areas you want wrapped, you want the, the, the glass or the, um, the light box area, you can have it wrapped. So today I'm just gonna show you do this one side and the part right here, the light box. It's pretty simple. Uh, what we do is we print out on 3M air release vinyl matte sheen most of the time. If you want gloss, kind of let us know what you want for the gloss and everything. We also pre-cut the backing for you on the on the strips so it makes it easier for you guys to install and that's the reason why i'm showing you on on this video that uh, uh get everything all set up for you now for the graphics what we need is um there is a web page and then down below you can click on that link and you'll know what we need for the graphics prime example of what my what the customer did i said uh, if you want to match anything in your decor go out and take some pictures they have, they have some wood grain uh patterns in their workout place so I had said go ahead take some photos if you have a nice phone uh, camera send me the files and then we and then also send them the, the graphics to us and then we pre uh, designed everything for them so once it's done we uh, take a screenshot show them and they say yep it's good and then once it's done and then we ship it out to you guys you guys can install it and then here's the video so let's kind of get started. The first thing I would like to recommend doing is uh, cleaning the subject right here with invisible glass cleaner and the lint-free rag. And also I have a, uh, a little chair right here so when you're installing the unit, uh, you can wrap it all the way around here. The reason why you get the, the, uh, the ladder right there is just to hold it up. So what I want to do is I want to clean the areas that we're going to be wrapping because it gets rid, of, gets rid of all the oils. I mean, there's handprints here and little uh, oils from the machine that came from the factory. So you just want to get a nice clean subject. That's what I'm trying to do right now. And you can kind of see it cleaning it really good. It's make the vinyl stick better and also last longer on the subject. And the beauty of wrapping these things, uh, commercial fridges, is you can change the advertisement. You can actually uh, update it, uh, add new things to it. You can always take it off and put new subjects on, but also advertise your business and subjects that you want to do. Okay, the next thing I do, take a screwdriver or Phillips. Drop a bit. <laughs> And uh, these things are really simple. There's, most of them are, the screws are on the side. Some, some are on top. But this brand, it is on the sides. And usually they just pop right off. And I bet you anything, it's, the, yeah, it's the top. And these don't take very long to do. There it goes. Yeah, it was the top one. <clears throat> well, on this one, again, every brand's a little bit different. There's two screws here, here, and here, and here. So it's the top part. I think that's what holds the, yeah, that's what holds the top. Let me show you real quick. So two's here, here, and then the, the sides hold this guy in, so it just pops it right off. It's just easier to, uh, to install the light box area when it's removed, and it looks more, more professional too. There you go. Uh, the vinyl we use, you don't see. 
Nice. Okay, so I just picked a, a surface right here and uh, just clean it real good and everything. Normally things are pretty strong, but uh, when I was removing this, I, I just I took it off, and oddly enough, it was so brittle it, it broke. So what I'm going to be I, what I did was I added some tape on the back end of it, and then um, with the vinyl on this, it will actually uh, it'll bond nicely, and it'll actually you won't see the crack right here. So that was kind of a weird. We don't we never had a, <laughs> had that done before, but this is it right here. So we took the measurements and everything, and so it was uh, just a little bit shy. You got a half inch um, border all the way around that, that you slide it in there. So what I'm going to be doing is normally what we do is we we get right to the T. So I, I I'm tacking it on right here right on the corner and then I'm going to right here we got a half inch bleed uh, frame all the way around so it should just you won't see this blue anymore there we go. That's perfect. So it, that's it right there. Pop it in, and it looks diamonds. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> Flip that around. There we go. Got it. Now you just put the screws on there. Okay, let's move on to the side. That's the reason why I bring this ladder is just to kind of hold the door up so when the vinyl gets on here, I loop it around. I'm not fighting with that door. All right, so next to the graphics, this is it right here. And so what we do on all our prints, we put little markers right there, indicate the corners of the doors. You can't see it in the videos. Also, we print, uh, we pre-cut the backing for you. It's called tacking on strips. Very easy to um, install the graphics when it's when it has like a tacking on strip, and I'll show you exactly. When I give you a free squeegee, free knife, uh, just to make it as easy as possible for you guys to install. So we kind of line that, those little dots up right there, and right there, and you kind of hold your hand up like here, and you tack it on. So the reason why we do that, if you kind of bring your, guide your hand all the way down, Make sure everything looks level and perfect exactly where it's, so it's perfect what you need. So if it needs to twist it a little bit or up it or down it or anything like that, you're just tacked on just right there. So we try that again, we try to make it as easy as possible. So the squeegees that we designed right here is actually, um, you can see those little arrows. So if you follow the arrows, it, it, it forces the vinyl down, air bubbles down and out. So the next thing I do, or you can do is tack the top part up. You follow these arrows. You can kind of hear the air bubbles pop out. A lot of times the, the corners, uh, they have like little air bubbles because the, the metal dives in and then out. So it, sometimes it collects air bubbles. So if you see the air bubbles right there, you, you just pop up the vinyl and bring it back down. And we are using 3M air release vinyl, so it's a great material to use. Next, I'm going to lift the vinyl up, grab the backing. So it makes kind of like a tent, what you're seeing right here. It goes out and this way. So I took about 12 inches. You follow the arrows all the way down. And just kind of do it every foot. Bring the backing down every foot. As you can see, this actually applies to like door wraps, refrigerator wraps. All kinds of uh, tall units like this. 
And that's the reason why we're using um, the 3M products because we really like it. And it's the quality of the, of the glue and the backing, but also the, the prints. We're just big fans of 3M. Okay, so on the bottom, you can't really see, but I'm, I'm making like a square. I'm just cutting it out, the excess off. So you can see squares right here. The reason why, I'm just gonna loop it down, or actually underneath, just a little bit. I got about one eight inch gap or area right here. So now what I'm gonna do is cut the excess off down below. And then now I am going to do the same thing. I'm gonna do the square. I'm gonna go straight up where the corner's at and then I'll go straight over if you can. Be careful with the knife. Same concept. I'm gonna go straight up and straight over. Now the light box is right here. There's like a little light box. What I normally do is I go, I put my knife on the light box and then I, um, I cut. So it releases and goes to the front of the door. Same thing right here, cut like this. Now I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of walk it in. And once it's walked in, I use my uh, fingernail in the grooves, get it in there as far as you can, and then you actually use your knife to go in the groove part. And then you got a nice, perfect, tight fit. The back end, I use, usually just wrap it over. By using your fingers, you can actually feel where the air bubbles are at. And just kind of take your time and then wrap the top. Now this light box area right here, I would try to get it as far as you can because that's, that's a lip going in and then going to the light box so there's a little gap right there. It's just the little details I like. There we go. Uh, same thing down here. Just take your fingernail, you can kind of run where you can feel, there it goes, that groove part is at. There, that really didn't take too long and you change the look of your, your refrigerator. You can actually add uh, another layer of vinyl on top of this. So if you want uh, any advertisement or anything like that, you can put it right on and then you can remove it after that. So there is all possible what you can change the look of it. So you can add a, uh, a water if you want, an image of your water and put it right there uh, to advertise that. Not a big deal. Lots of different options and everything. So if you want something like this, again, I need the width and height of the sides, uh, the light box or anything, or the window. If you want some graphics on the window, we need the measurements of that and send us what you want to see and all kinds of things. Uh, Devin or Randy will take care of you. Email is info at rmraps.com. Uh, also, if you want to call us, 208-696-1180. Uh, we are here for you if you need anything else. Um, if you want full service, get a hold of us. We've got a lot more options for that. This is uh, kind of like a full service, but we do a lot of full services back at our shop and we ship the units to you guys. If it's a small mini fridge to a large refrigerator like this, we, we can do it for you. All right, stay tuned. We've got more projects and projects coming your way. If there's anything else, let us know and uh, you'll see me on the next video.